Kung meron nga kami kayong um, kung hindi man kayo masyadong confident sa pagkanta, huwag niyo mong pansinin yan. Walang sintonado pagdating po sa kabubuhin sa Panginoon. Amen. So, bigay po natin ang pinaka mataas na pabuhin sa Kanya. Sabihin niyo po ako umami.
church. Let's have a glory, eh, no? Amen. Ito kita ko talaga sa ano, sa mukha ng mga kabalit. Ang sarap mag glory. Let's read the um, Psalm 103, uh, verse 1 to 5. Sabi po, um, Let all that I am praise the Lord with my whole heart. I will praise His holy name. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things He does for me. He forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. He redeems me from death and crowns me with love and tender mercies. He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like the angels. Mapukasarap talaga sa bahalang ng mga kapatid kapag ka dumadating kayo sa punto ng buhay na na you don't, you, wala kayong speak pero may Jesus sa buhay mo. May Panginoon na nakikinig every time you feel the pain. May Jesus sa buhay mo na nandiyan para yung kapatid ka. Ano bang struggles, ano man, victory ang dumadating sa buhay mo. Mga kapatid, sa bawat araw na dumadating, ibigay niyo sa Panginoon yung yung, yung buong lahas. Pagmulat pa lang na inyong mga bata. Dahil hindi hindi niya kayo ibitawan. Minsan nakakabitaw tayo kapag ka Ando tayo sa nuklohan ng victory, pero ang Panginoon, kahit anong siso ng buhay mo, andyan siya. At minsan, kapag nakakaragdag kayo na parang ang layo nyo, hindi nyo, hindi nyo siya narinig, He's always bring someone na katapit sa'yo para i-remind na, may Diyos, may Diyos na makakalit.
you are enough for me, for us, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for giving your life. Your life is more than enough for us, Lord God, because of the salvation that we have, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for your Son, Lord God. Thank you, God, for your Son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for us, Lord God, to atone us, Lord God, in our Lord God, to uh, save us, Lord God, from all our sins, because we are dead already, Lord God. But truly, Lord God, your love cannot be explained, Lord God, in other words, Lord God. But the only thing we can say, Lord God, that you are love, because you started, Lord God, because you are love. Thank you, Lord God. We don't need anything, Lord God. Only, the only thing we need is you, Lord God. Truly, Lord God. You deserve to be praised and worshipped, Lord God. Your people, Lord God, you are here, Lord God. They are here, Lord God, to honor you, Lord God, to glorify you, Lord God, to worship you, to uh, praise you, Lord God, and most special, especially, Lord God, to worship you in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for this day, Lord God. May your Holy Spirit be upon this place, Lord God, to hear your words, Lord God, Touch me behind, hide me behind your back, Lord God, and touch everyone who are here, Lord God. But the message will be, it's for them, it's for me, it's for all of us coming from you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, and we glorify you, we thank you, we magnify you in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody say, Amen, Amen, Amen. amen. Praise God, good morning, thank you. Worshiping, salamat po. Before I start, can you greet someone else? Say, say uh, welcome. I'm glad that you are here. Uh, salamat po. Okay, take your time. Keyword about that. Yung una, ano ba? Diba? 
Meron ano din eh. Huwag may title kasi <laughs> kung meron bang kumurot sa inyo na word for the uh, praise and worship, ano po ba yun? Enough. enough. Praise is enough. Tama. Ano pa? Di ba meron dun? I believe. Di ba? Meron dun. Ano pa isa? I trust. Di ba? Nandun na lahat eh. Tapos bandang muli, di ba? Ano sabi? Christ is enough. Amen po ba? Hindi po sinadya to. Kung sa po itong ano, kasama po talaga sa line up to, isa lang yung binago to. Pero sabi nga, when I, when I listened to the uh, praise and worship uh, the other day, this came up in my mind. Diba? The Holy Spirit speak to us. But there's something missing on that praise and worship, which is Christ is enough. Amen po ba? Kaya lang na, 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 this is the, the thing that uh, contradicts the world. Diba? Some people think that Christ is not enough. We try to find ways to be enough in our daily living. Diba? So it's hard to understand if we don't soak in the world. I mean, with the word. Right here. If we're not soak in the word. That's why it's it's really hard for us to understand the word Christ is enough if we don't read the word of God. Today we're going to talk about the title of the message today is about living a Christian life in abundance. Are you a Christian? Are you a believer? So, dapat we are living in abundance. But there's a problem with that. But our our uh, key verse today is John 10. Then, may explain ko. Na binito, abundance li- abundant living is a powerful concept. Amen. Make sure that you know that abundant living is a powerful powerful concept. It will contradict the world and contradict the word of God. Amen. There's a big difference in abundance in this world. Diba? There's a big difference that, that ano, the, uh, between abundance in the world and abundance in Christ. Pero the truth is, living an abundant life is not about wealth. Amen po ba? Amen. But I'm not saying wealth is bad. But it's not about wealth. Ano yun? It is about the mindset. O ano yung mindset natin? Pero, wag po, wag po tayo, wag po i-deprive na hindi pala kayo. Uh, what is not, it's not needed. No, it's needed as well. But the mindset and how you will uh, create that wealth, it is in the good or excessive. <clears throat> it is about the mindset. It is not about what you have. It is about what you believe and trust. Amen po ba? Yeah, ito, I would, I would just give you uh, some of the techniques, some of the keys that you will, so that you will have an abundant life. So God alone provides for all of our needs. Amen po ba? Hindi po tayo po provide ng needs natin, ha? Si Lord, tayo lang ang tumatrabaho. We're the only one, we're the workers, but God provides all our needs. <clears throat> ano ba yun? God provides love. Because He loved us. We're here right now. We are loved. Amen? And we are saved through grace. Tama ba? Or by grace through faith. Amen? And the mercy. Because God is so loving that He cannot, uh, He cannot, Accept, he cannot accept that no one will be saved. That's why he gave his only son for us to be saved. Amen? So he is also the God of goodness. Because God is good. That is that is his characteristic. He cannot he can never change that. And whatever problems, whatever tribulation that you have, whatever situation that you have, the solution is not on you. The solution is God. That's why we have to surrender everything. That's why abundant life is not about financial gain. It is about 
God's kingdom. Amen. God's kingdom. That's our goal. To be what? To be rich. To be rich, not just in this world, but most importantly, the kingdom. In the kingdom. Remember, in my father's house, there's so many. There's a lot of many mansions for each and every one of us. Amen. Paul. So abundant life, abundant living happens when you are tuned into the source and this will for your life. So the source, actually we talked about it, I already messaged that before, who is your source? But the source itself. That means you understand your purpose and passions. It also, ha it's also happens when you are content. Ito, this is the word that we need to understand, the word contentment. That you are content in your circumstances and trust God's plan for your life. God's plan for each and every one of us is to prosper, to be successful, diba? to be abundant. Not to the point that you don't need God, I can do it. Sometimes people do that. They overwork. They overachieve what they have, what they, because uh, that's their goal. The problem is, it's my, it's I, it's me, it's mine, it's my goal. You forget to think, you forget to include God that He is the one who will give you that goal to be successful. And we need to I will explain it again, I will say it again. Having goals in your life is not bad. But if you don't put God in your goal, there's going to be a problem. Because God already set the goal for you. Because His plan, but He already planned each and every one of us, whatever it is. It's a matter of how we will learn from it. We will accept it. That's why this abundant living is, that's why we have to understand the difference between the abundance of the world and abundance with Christ. If we think of the abundance of this world and not to think of Christ, at the point, this is the temporary abundance that we will have. But if you think God, you think abundance in Christ, then you will have this also. Amen, Puba. Mm -hmm. The excessive, the excessive abundant living in this world, it will put you in ruin. It will direct you in the wrong path. There's a lot of people who does that. But I'm not saying this because your excuse or your all of us are not excused with this situation. I'm not here standing in front of you. Not thinking of that as well. All of us. But the mindset itself. You have to think. You have to think of yourself. Am I doing this for God or am I doing this for myself? Am I doing this to, to uh, glorify God or myself? Am I doing this so that God will see in me the people around us, around me? Or I'm doing this because I want people to see in me that I'm successful. Abundant living means you are grateful. It connected with the past, the previous message. Remember, be grateful. But be grateful because God is graceful. Amen. For every opportunity, it also means that you use every opportunity to accomplish good deeds which produce good outcomes. What? Union. That's a that's our purpose. I'm not saying this. Go. I mean tayo. But make sure you use it for good. And don't over use it for your own personal agenda. Greed. Remember, the greed itself is not just for the rich. It's also for the poor. Every different walks of life, greed is there. Amen? That's why it is important to understand that. Most of all, abundant living means knowing and never forgetting that God provides. Nothing else. 
Sometimes we're so selfish. Sometimes we're so selfish that I worked hard for it. I deserved it. Yes, you deserved it. But the thing is, most importantly, God deserved your praise. God deserved your thankful. Be thankful. Sometimes we forget God. We only tend to remember God when we are dire straight, when we have problems, when we are in the situation that there's no hope. But every day there's hope because you have your God in you. Only, the only thing you need to have is to trust Him, to believe in Him, and to be satisfied with incontentment because Christ is enough. When you see have Christ in you, everything that belongs to God, it's yours. Grasp the thing that grasp the promise of the Lord in your life that you will sit in his right hand. Diba? That you will receive the crowns of the crown of glory when you meet God. When you meet Jesus Christ. It is there's a lot of uh, a lot of things that the prosperity that people doesn't know, they just Give, uh, they just give the prosperity thing, but they don't. They don't share the word that needs to know for you to have to be prosperous. You have to know what God's plan for you. Niyong po tayo dito. What do you mean? Aniyan? Hindi tayo kabig na ng kabig dito. It is not only for our benefits. It's also for the benefits of the world. Because right now we're here, we're saved. But what about the people who needs the word of God? Needs to be shared. Because you know what, ito, uh, I'm not against people who are rich, have many, many possessions. Praise God for your lives. But make sure you glorify God for your wealth. Because if you glorify yourself, what you did, it will eventually be too late. You will enjoy it for now. But afterwards, you will not enjoy it. Remember that. Because if you don't have God in your life, you're dealing the abundance of this world. You are having this abundance of this world. But the abundance of Christ, it's unlimited. Name it. As long as it is according to the Lord. Amen? So the verse today is at John 10, 10. All of you this, all of you are familiar with this. Amen po ba? And I chose the Amplified Version. It's much better. What it says there, the thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy. It's very clear. The things that you possess, and natin yan, the enemy is there. It will it will give you insight. But take note of that. That's his job. He will steal your what? Your joy. Your happiness. You're happy because you have your possessions temporarily. And it will kill your relationship with what? With your family, your loved ones, your, your brothers and sisters. And it will destroy your life. But it doesn't stop there. Remember, Jesus Christ just up that If you if you read the word of God, it's always contradict, but there's if you read the whole verse, the whole chapter, you will understand that. In this verse, you will see there the promise, right? It says there, I came that they may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. That's the promise of the Lord for all of us. That's why sino pa po ba ang hanapin natin? Kaya nga, Christ is enough. But we know we have to work for it. But don't overwork for it. Mas mawawala na eh. The freedom. Trust me. I've been there. 
For the past five years, I worked 16 to 18 hours a day. Lack of sleep. I end up, what? Having problems. Not getting rich. Yes. Naano po yung mga needs. Pero, I was deprived with my relationship with my, my kids. My, my wife. My other things. I thought serving serving God during Sundays, working working uh, things that needed here is enough. No, but the the, the thing that you need to be uh, to have is the contentment of life. The material things in this world will not be will not give you contentment. Temporarily, you will you will be happy, but it's not. But if the contentment in life is having relationship with the Lord. And so I am giving you secrets, I'm giving you tips for you to be able to have a living uh, abundance life, living abundance life in the Lord. Yeah, I'll give you the secret. Number one, ano po ba? Bearing fruit. Amen po ba? You're not here just to stay and to stay alone. You're not here to listen, and that's it. No, you have a purpose. Bearing fruit, it means God is putting something in you that you need to impart it to other people. In John chapter 15, uh, 15 5 and Galatians 5, 22, 23, very common. It says here, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me, and I in you, you will bear much fruit. But if you remain in God, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Ang sakit, di ba? It's hard. But it, this is the truth. Apart from God, you can do nothing. No, I can do it. I work. I can, I can earn. I can remember. Your life belongs to the Lord. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Is it okay if I can have love alone? Is it okay if I can have peace? No, it's a package to you. Against such things, there is no love. First of all, if you see that, the Spirit is love. Diba? The fruit of the Spirit is love. So the love comes first. That's why you have to love God and love others. And praise God, no? uh, to, uh, last Friday, uh, we, we had a, like a belong to the family, welcome to the, uh, to the family, na, mga bago rito na, ano, we welcome you, thank you for Sis Daisy, I will just include you this, and Brother Ron for uh, having your house to be open to all of us. Praise God. That's how we need to have. Because we are all belongs to God's family. That's why we need you need to understand that prosperity is good if it's come, it comes from the Lord. Amen? Secondly, abiding. You need to be abide in God's word. In John chapter 15 verse 4 and 5 it says here, Abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me, and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do anything. That's the ESP version. But you need to be abiding by the law of the Lord. By the law of the Lord. So abiding is the key. For you to be abundant. Diba? For you to bear fruit. You cannot bear fruit if you don't have the relationship with the Lord. If you don't have not the love of God. If you don't accept Christ. Savior. That's why you have to bear fruit. You have to be abide. Next one is what? When you abide in Christ, you will obey him. Obeying is the key. 
obeying. In John chapter 14, 15 says there, If you really love me, you will keep and obey my commands. I like that amplified version. Because it's like the regular other version says only if you love me. But here, if you really love me, if you really love God, you will keep his command. You will obey him. That is important for us. You have to abide. You have to obey what the word speaks to you. But the thing is, how can you obey if you don't read the word of God? How can you bear fruit if you don't <coughs> meditate on it day and night? Next, loving. You have to love. Because God loves you first. You have to love God and love people. Especially the unlovable. Most especially. It's hard, yes. That's why you have to love the unlovable, because it's hard. It's easy to love the lovable. There's not there's no uh, no there's no needed. Only the, um, the only thing you need, the, the, uh, the only thing you can do is love them and they will love you back. But the challenge is this. If you love the unlovable, there's the, the challenge that you will have. But the fruit of that, it's overwhelming. The people will understand. Again, why, why is this my enemy is trying to love me? Because it, it's not about you. It's about God in you. Amen? They will see in you what God has put in, in your life. In John chapter 14, verse 23, says, Jesus answered, if, any, if anyone really loves me, he will keep my word teaching, and my Father will love him. And we will come to him and make our dwelling place with him. Imagine that. That's the only thing that you can do. You have to love him. To love Jesus Christ. So that you will be joining with him. And the Father will love you as well. That's the key. For you to be abundant. Not just the material thing. But the word of God itself. <clears throat> And also in John chapter 14, 24, the opposite. One who does not really love me does not keep my words and the word teaching, which you hear is not mine. If you hear what it means, it says, in this world, the words of this world, whatever prosper whatever prosperity that it will give you in this world it's not from the lord it's from the world that's why you need to really love god not to, not to love the world next if you love god you have to know his word but when jesus christ what jesus christ says my sheep knows me. He hears my voice. You know for you to know God, for you to hear the word of God, you have to understand. Knowing is just listening to the pastor, listening to the leaders, listening to life group teaching. But knowing, most importantly, is reading the word of God. Quiet time is important in your life. You have to speak to the Lord. You have to communicate to God. That's why you have to know His word, His will, His plan for you. In Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, very, very familiar po sa atin ato, This book is the law that shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall read and meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything in accordance with all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous. See that? That's how it goes. And then you will be successful. Yes. Hindi lang po sa profession. It's not about your 
degree or profession that you became pros you will become pros prosperous and successful. It's part of it, but most importantly, if you abide in the Lord and know His Word and meditate on it, that's truly the prosperous part that you will have, and you will be successful in it. That's important for all of us. Yeah, this message is only short. I just want to share to you how to be success, to be success, successful, prosperous, and abundant in walking in a Christian life. I put this is important for all of us. Next, spending time. Amen. Ito, very common to it. The time. One among you here spending time with the Lord? Don't raise hand. We're all guilty of all this this part. Right? It's between you and God. Spending time. Most importantly, spending time with the Lord. Oh, I can come to the meeting, I can come to the life group. I have no time. I'm busy this, that, blah, blah, blah. I have so many jobs many words. I have no time to do this. I have no time. Don't wait to, to be uh, to, to talk. Don't wait for God to say to you that I don't have time for you anymore. Remember. Diba? Ano sabi ng ano? What sabi ng sa salita? In the word? All, it's like all of you calling the Lord, Lord, but that doesn't follow my command. doesn't follow my as it obey my command. I, I don't know you. Don't let the Lord tell you, I don't know you. Don't say that you don't have time. You have time. It's a matter of priorities. What is your priorities? And then, in a day, there's a 24 hours. But some people try to make it 25, 26. Still, they don't have time. No. The time will remain there. But the only thing that it, it will ever remain is your time. If you focus on the things that is uh, influencing the Lord, that's not good. You find time with the Lord. Not just in this church, but in your quiet time, in your life. You say, you say that you don't have time, but you have time. Don't say that to your family that, oh, I have, I have too many words, I have to do this, I have no time. Remember, have you, have you uh, experienced that, that, oh, I don't have time to, for you, this and that, what happened? Sa mag-asawa, di ba? Oh, ang dami kong gagawin eh, I have a lot of things to do. I can't, I can't uh, give my time to you. What will happen? Or, right? your wife would be mad at you. But God is so loving that He gives you a lot of time to think that the time is mine. I'm the one who gave you the time. So give back parts of it, of your time to me. To thank me. Not me, God. Right? So spending time Spending time with what? Spending time with the Word and His teaching. So that's why you have to have time. Etong time na to, you can do that. You can do that in your work, in your spare time. You can do that wherever you go. And that Before it's hard. It's only it's like what yeah, the hard the hard copy, the paper. But now you can put it in your cell phone, your iPad, your tablet, but still you don't have time. Remember the last time that we uh, spoke about the church, when people, when people is like uh, in other parts of the Asian country that they're not allowed to read the word of God, but they can still find time. They memorize it. They give their, their selves to the Lord. Small time not to spare to read the word of God, it's hard for us. Don't let that hinder your relationship with the Lord. 
In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, 17, it says, All scripture is God breath, God breath, and it is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. But, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So everything that we share together, whatever I share, whatever we share, it is God's breath for you to understand, for you to be corrected, to be rebuked. Ito na naman si Pastor, nirebuke na naman ako, kinorek na naman ako, hindi po ako yun. Everything that I will speak to here is from the Lord. It is in the Word. That's why I encourage you to read your Word, to read your Bible. Because you never know what I'm speaking here. I'm not perfect. I'm not God. That's why you yourself have to study as well. What else? For you to give time. Give time with fellow believers. That's the purpose of life groups. Personal relationship with other believers, with fellow believers. That's why you have to connect with each and every life group that we have. It is beneficial not for the leaders, but for all of you. Because all of us have different walks of life. If you find a life group, sometimes it will encourage you. Sometimes you will oh narinig na po ba yun? Yung tinagsakloban na ako ng langit at lupa. Diba? All the problems that the enemy gives me, it's all, it's there with me. It's hard. But worst case scenario, the other, the other uh, brothers or sisters worse than your case, right? So you have to understand that you're not the only person that dealing this kind of situation. There's other, other people that's dealing worse than your problem. That's why you have to have your fellowship with other believers. Life group is beneficial for all, for all of us. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and 11, verse 11, Hebrews 10, 25 says, Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, not down, just as in fact you are doing. Diba? Andan po natin, build up, not gossip, not pull down. Amen? Not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging, not discouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching when the Lord comes. That is for, that is our job, to encourage others na nangihina, na feeling down, di ba? We are here as encourager. If you say that you are a Christian, you are a believer, we are an encourager of Christ. We encourage people who are, are uh, tired, are you want them? down, so we have to build them up. So that's the things that you need to understand. That's the thing for you to, to grasp the abundance of life being a Christian, not just the wealth. Samarin, pero most importantly, it's your relationship with the Lord. And that Christ is enough. My question is what? Are you living in the abundant life? Answer that to God. Amen? Answer that to God. Yes. I'm not here para sermon ng kayo, ha? I'm not here tell you that you're not living. I'm not here to tell you you have your own life. I cannot I cannot interfere in that one. It's between you and God. That is why we need to read the word of God. In 
Second Corinthians chapter nine. I'm almost done. Corinthians chapter nine, verse eight. And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. And then you know, abound. God is blessed you with what? With abundant, abundantly, so that in all things, in all times, difficulties, good and bad, you will be abundant in Christ. Amen, Paul. Yeah, stick to the vine. So application. Yeah. So application in this message is what? I will uh, encourage uh, all the music team to come in the front. Maraming salamat. So application. Abundant life is really less about us. Amen po ba? And more about God. Amen? I will repeat it again. This is an application for all of us. Abundant life is really less about us and more about God. It's not about you. It's about God. God is our source and everything else is just a resource. Amen? Amen po ba? So, ano yung ano? The conclusion. And, the tayo ka sa conclusion. Living an abundant life is God's plan and design for all of us. Not what the world brings, but what God gives to you. Amen? Amen po ba? So, let us stand. Let us pray. Praise God. Hallelujah, Lord. Truly, Lord God, you are enough, Lord God. For us to believe in you, Lord God, we need to trust you. Whatever you promise, Lord God, because your characteristic is good. Your goodness, it will never change. You are, Lord God, you are here to, Lord God, to prosper us, Lord God. You are here, to, Lord God, to protect us, Lord God. You are here, to, Lord God, to encourage us, Lord God. You are here, Lord God, not to harm us, Lord God. Everything that the, char the positive characteristic, Lord God, is in you, Lord God. Because you are God. You are love, Lord God. And right now, Lord God, I pray for our brothers and sisters who are here, Lord God. I'm not saying, Lord God, that they will not, they will uh, get off on the, the things that they are uh, doing, Lord God. Sa kanilang trabaho, sa kanilang business, sa kanilang career, hindi po, hindi deprive po sa kanila, Lord God, but I am here, Lord God, to inform them, Lord God, that don't let this business, this career, this job be their door. But, because, Lord God, ikaw ang mamumuhay sa buhay nila, Lord God. Because if they, if we live in you, and if we trust in you, everything is, everything, Lord God, will follow. That's why we seek ye first in your kingdom and his righteousness and you promise this to us and all these things will be added unto us but not on our own will but our your will Lord God be done to us thank you Lord God thank you Lord God for your word Lord God truly Lord God we are if we say that we are believers we are Christians Lord God we are living in abundance just to love, most important to your God. Abundant, walking in you, speaking, and reading, and listening to your word. Hallelujah, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for your love, for your life. Thank you, Lord God, for the people who are here, Lord God. I pray that the Holy Spirit already spoke to them to prioritize the things that it will last in this world, nothing will last. But your love, your word will last forever. And you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Nothing will change. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Bring back the glory and honor. In the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody say, Amen. 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 Amen.
praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. So before we, we go on the tithes and offering, let's sing this last song again. Amen po ba? And I invite the... Oh, hindi ko na pala sila. Amen. Praise God. So let's, let's sing again. Christ is enough. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah.
Praise God to the Lord.